Oh. Is it rude to slurp your pasta? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of The Silly Kitchen, where today I'm gonna to show you the easiest one pot pasta dish that you will ever make. And all you need is a pot. I like a pot pan type thing. Um, okay, well you need the pot, but you also need the lid. So pot and lid and a few ingredients. Let's head over to the stove top and get this baby going. Let's start by immersing all of our spaghetti noodles in water in our pot or pan and salt that water to season it. Cover it up and let it start bubbling and simmering. Every few minutes you're gonna uncover and stir. This is great for people like me who have a stirring obsession in the kitchen. When you start seeing the noodles soften up, make sure you give them a good mix around, let them curl around the pan. There should still be moisture and water in your pan at this point. We're gonna give those noodles time to soak that water in, but even though there's water in the pan, add your crushed tomatoes and juice now. Season with whatever garlic is your favorite. I'm using garlic salt, as well as garlic that is minced out of the jar. Again, mix, 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 stir, stir, stir. Make sure all of those flavors blend together. Your next step is going to be adding in some more seasoning. Dry parsley flakes or dry basil, whatever your favorite herb is, add that in and cover it up. Did I mention we're gonna stir a lot in this? Add in your tomato sauce at this point and maybe give it another stir. And then if you are vegetarian, skip this part, but uh, if you aren't and you have some ground beef that you've already browned, you can add that into your uh, pasta mix now. Again, you're gonna see that there's still moisture in the pan, that's okay. We're gonna mix all of that together, but you should be seeing that uh, water definitely soak into the noodles and evaporate a little bit out of the pan now that we're keeping it open. The next step is spinach. I absolutely love adding greens into my pasta dishes. Don't be afraid to add a ton in there because we're gonna fold it into the pasta and it's gonna shrink and wilt. Now you just need to keep on cooking it with the cover off to let all those beautiful flavors come together. Once you are feeling ready, take it off the heat. And my favorite way to plate is a nice swoopy swirly swizzle onto your favorite plate. If you didn't get enough in that swirl, add a little bit more. I need it to look really good for a picture, so I'm adding more. In order to finesse the dish, add another tiny bit of that extra parsley flake. And my favorite, don't forget, we need cheese on our pasta. Oh yeah. What I love about this dish is the simplicity, lots of beautiful fragrant ingredients, and not a lot of cleanup. So without further ado, <laughs> I gotta try my concoction. Gotta get a little bit of noodle spin on there, a little bit of beef, and a little bit of spinach for a TV bite. Uh-oh. Is it rude to slurp your pasta? <laughs> mm. It's just lovely. Did I mention there's not a lot of cleanup? <laughs> This is something that is easy to make any night of the week, something quick to put together. You can change up the ingredients, keep it vegetarian or add beef, and away you go. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Silly Kitchen. Please hit that subscribe button, give me some love. Leave me a comment if you want, let's chat. Thank you, and I'll see you again.